So, you thought you could hack the Switch and not have any consequences. Reports are coming in of people who decided to hack their Nintendo Switch console are getting alerts when they try and get on the eShop that they have been disconnected from the internet, that they're not allowed to go inside of the eShop at all, and that they need to contact Nintendo in order to get the rights back to do that. I find this pretty hilarious because I don't know why people insist on hacking these systems so early. Like, you should kind of wait for something. Like, like the PlayStation Vita didn't really get hacked until like a year or so ago. And that thing, but it's been out forever. And it's been so long since it actually came out that Sony actually didn't even care anymore. They did update to get rid of the ability to hack it that specific way. But they're not like banning people. They're not bricking consoles or anything. But Nintendo, they're not afraid to do that to you. So I would watch out. I would not hack your system. You can get completely disconnected from eShop and maybe possibly lose your purchases. I'm not even sure. I'm guessing those people, they really did have to contact Nintendo and say, yeah, sorry, I hacked my system. Can I have all my stuff back? And I don't know if they're going to be cool with that because it's not really cool to download illegal games on your system, in my opinion. I know there's like a whole world where people like pirate games and there's people who pirate games for good reasons, like keeping video games like safe, keeping them as a part of our history. Because if we never did that, then a lot of video games would cease to exist. But if you're pirating games that are widely available on a bunch of different platforms, then I don't really see the point of it. I think you should probably just pay for the stuff that you love. And, and if you don't have enough to pay for these games and you want to hack them onto a different system of some sort, I wouldn't choose the Switch. I would use like your PC or your Mac or something. Because Nintendo is not messing around. You will be completely shut off from the eShop or completely shut off from, from online games, I'm guessing, as well. So be careful out there, you hackers. In other news, Nintendo has filed for the trademark of the, the Nintendo 64, which is really exciting. Unfortunately, it, I highly doubt it's going to be anything involving the Switch because Nintendo has already said they have no plans to bring the virtual console to Switch. We don't know really what that means. Maybe it means they plan on naming their digital games library something different and that they're not using the term virtual console anymore. But until then, it seems like we're going to be getting a Nintendo 64 Classic Edition, which is really exciting. I had an NES and a Super NES whenever I was growing up, but I was also really young when those came out. Actually, I wasn't born when the, when the original NES came out. And um, so the Nintendo 64 is actually the, like the platform that I probably grew up on the most. So I play, I've played so many games on that, even though there's not even really that many. I've played a bunch of games, and I just love a bunch of Nintendo 64 games, and I would love to make a list. Actually, that might be my next video. I'm going to build the Nintendo 64 Classic Edition, uh, like the 30 games, I'm guessing. Actually, it probably not won't even be that much. It'll probably be like 20 games, maybe four controllers. That'd be really cool, but I highly doubt it. But anyway, they have filed for that, so be prepared. Nintendo 64 Classic Edition is coming. Are you excited about it? Do you plan on picking it up? Have you gotten the chance to play the NES Classic or the SNES Classic? Because I know I haven't, because I still can't find them anywhere around in my area. And every time I do see one, I don't have the frickin' money to buy it. But let me know, like I said. And are you scared you might get in trouble by Nintendo? Are you one of them hackers? Be honest. Be honest. All right, guys, that's really all I got to say today. This is a short video, Nintendo News Block. Be sure to check out my other videos and my Games of E3 series that I'm posting on all of the Enthusiast Gaming channels. And be nice, be friendly, let's talk down in the comments. I will talk to you guys later.